show on for you today. We, we literally yep. just got back from Saskatoon. We did a road trip. The first WBC road first trip. First WBC road trip. It first one. Good. Yeah, we uh, we shared a single bed in a hostel. Um, couldn't afford two beds. So we just We're shared a budget. Mm -hmm. Tight budget. You know, but we took our show on the road and we interviewed Steve Cavan, President and CEO of Paddockwood Brewery, Saskatchewan's first microbrewery. So right now we're gonna get our beers and we get Vika to bring out our uh, Paddockwood ales. Vika, Vika, Simonovic. Hi. Hello. <laughs> hey, Vika. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Much appreciated. <laughs> we're, I'm gonna be drinking the Paddockwood Black Cat, a delicious dark lager. I will be drinking the Paddockwood 606 India Pale Ale, uh, one of my personal favorites. As we're moving on up and getting more funding, we've actually invested in the cup that matches the beer. Paddockwood cups. It's huge. And remember, you can check off all your favorite Paddock Wood beers online at worldbeercollection.com. What do you think, Lucas? <laughs> Whoa, that was kind of interesting. Weird. I think we can at least get Lucas a Paddock Wood beer. Yeah, we've been feeding them Gold 45, Gold. and we feel that it's time to give them uh, an actual beer that we feature on the show. We're going to be giving them a checkmate. Lucas, here you go. First time checkmate. you really seem to be enjoying that beer. Oh yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to a commercial break. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Mm. Wow, it's really good beer. Oh. I've got paddock wood right now. Well, that was an interesting commercial. Certainly interesting, absolutely. Yeah, aside from that, so we had the opportunity recently to go visit uh, Paddockwood Brewery up in Saskatoon. We had a nice exclusive tour of the Paddockwood uh, microbrewery, Saskatchewan's first microbrewery. And Saskatchewan's finest microbrewery. Finest. And brewing fine craft beers with a great selection. And, and President and CEO Steve Cavan is actually a great experimentalist when it comes to making craft beers and finding new recipes and new ingredients that will go into these craft beers to kind of keep our taste buds guessing. What do you think, Luca? It's all right. Well, we'll let you see what Steve has to say here. We're going to give you a little clip that we did of our visit to the brewery. WBC road trip. Exciting uh, opportunity for us because we're big fans of Paddock Wood. I think it's going to be um, an awesome tour. So why don't you come with us inside and uh, we'll check some stuff out. I was a grad student and my wife, we were both grad students. Wow. She got the real job, right? And I, so <laughs> I'm a sessional lecturer. I had been doing craft beer. <laughs> and it wasn't anything. There wasn't even uh, important selection. Like SLG had nothing. I said, well, it doesn't have to make it. How do you make it? So I, my, my academic background kicks in. I can research anything. And I hit the library and I kind of, okay, 
and they could, nobody in Canada sold the ingredients. Uh, I couldn't get the ingredients, so I opened up Catacolid as a store in order to import the, the materials from the States. Opened up a website, got the stuff through to my basement, <laughs> and in 96 I had $300 in sales. And then it went $3,000, $10,000, $16,000. $16,000 yeah. of sales isn't enough to no. do it. So I said, right, I'm shutting down. And Stephen Ross, he's a graduate English student, he said, you can't close, like, you're corrupting me. I can't drink any beer except the kind of beer that I'm making with your ingredients. <laughs> so I said, to Steve Ross, let's open up a store and we'll throw my, my system back and we'll make beer kits for anybody. So then the partnership kind of yeah, so we, evolved. We, we formed a partnership in, in January of 2000. So we, we opened the store from the Avalon, which is the south end of town, a little tiny, 300 square feet. Uh, it was really funny because we'd say, no, 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 you tell us the kind of beer you want to drink and we'll sit down and figure out how to make it. Stephen, he was a graphic artist, he gives a really nice website and sales jumped from 16, 35, 75. We couldn't handle $700,000 of sales. So we said, we're closing down. That was the summer of 02. Could have taken the delicious beer away twice now. We were the only store in Canada selling things like Maris Water. I had checked Moravian. What? Jim Beebe, who's now the vice president, he said, well, you can't close. Like, huh. So we incorporated. We said, well, we need to raise money to get more space. Our landlord had space in here in Bay 4, which was 1,400 square feet. It had the best brew house we've ever had. Tile floors, tile walls. <laughs> so we, we moved from Bay 4 to Bay here, Bay 1. And the brewery is right in this section here. Oh, we got a 300 liter system. So we're making 300 liter batches. But we, we still had a 300 liter system. We didn't have enough volume. Jane, who was in the store, said, so you need to make a batch of black guys. So I did yesterday. She said, I know, it's sold already. That, the writing was on the wall. And SLJ said, we can't sell it here unless you can make a lot more of it. So we got the new system. We bought this system. <laughs> this is a... When it comes to head, when it comes to head, I prefer my choice is my bock. I enjoy London Port. I like six. I prefer better than a uh, So I believe uh, we're not doing the guest host challenge today. No, because uh, we had our guest host in Saskatoon, mm -hmm. Saskatoon so we're going to be doing a different segment. We're taking our cases to beer court. If you have a beer related problem, please send us in and we'll see you at beer court. Beer court. All rise for the Honorable Judge Hopps. Court in session. So, where are your pantaloons? Well, I thought we would remain seated for the entire case. What is a standing? You may all sit. Today, we examine the case of the missing beer. Today, we have Mr. Barley versus Mr. Something. Mrs. Bali, will you please make your first statement? Your Honor, my client was having a quiet night with a friend, Mr. Malt, last weekend. They bought a 12-pack of Paddock Wood beer. Each of them claimed to have drank five. Now, if my math serves me correctly, there should have been two beers left. However, there was only one beer left in the case. And I will prove that it was this man right here Mr. Malt, he is a terrible human being, a liar. I'll touch on you, Honor, I'll touch on And he didn't even pay for the beer. <laughs> hey, I, I thought this was so ridiculous. I made her buy it. Oh. Okay, wait, that's okay. <laughs> My country is acceptable. Mr. Malt, you're right about the prayers. Hey, step into my job, okay, please. Please, this is my first case. I have it. I will prove. Once and for all, that this man is not capable of drinking six beers. Actus reus, mens rea, uh, uh, culpability. No, no culpability of, of Mr. Monty to want to drink. You will be proven wrong. I will prove you wrong and you wrong, and then I'll be proven wrong. Your Honorable Judge, how to you? Okay. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help me God. Yes. 
Miss Barley, I need to know from you, where were you on the evening in question? I need an answer! I've been with Mr. Moat in his house. So you were, you say you're in the Mr. Moat house. What were you doing there? We're drinking beer and he drinks six. So you were just drinking beer? That's not what Mr. Malti told me. We only drink the beer and he drink more beer from me. No further questions, Jonna. <laughs> Miss Barley, did your eyes ever stray from the 12 pack of paddock wood? I didn't see the case all the time. During the moments that you were not looking at the case of paddock wood, did Mr. Malt ever leave your sight? He did go to bedroom a lot. Well, there you have it, Your Honor. Mr. Malt had ample opportunity to drink that beer. Why would you do that? Oh, you that you're, you're a liar! No, you're a liar! No, you are the one you that just told you! Tell the truth, nothing but the truth, so help me God. Yes. Uh, Mr. Monte, would you please tell the court where you were on that evening in question? I was at my house drinking with Miss Barley. We had some beers. I drank five, she drank five. That is true. Did everyone hear this? The man drank five beers. And, and what were you doing this evening in question? Just drinking beers. Ah, he was just uh, drinking the beers. Order five beers. Five beers? Oh, okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Malti. You do a good job. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. Uh, Mr. Malt, were you drinking anything else that night? Any water, any pop, anything? Nothing, sir. I drank five beers. And how many times did you go to the washroom? Objection, Your Honor! 2.5 times. Objection! Objection! Denied! Your Honor, the average man, after five beers, would go to the washroom at least three times. This man's lying? I'm not lying! You do realize you're under I oath. You didn't tell me that! All right, I drank the sixth beer. All right, I did it. Whatever. I didn't know I was under oath. I gotta get a new lawyer. This is No, Mr. Mr. Maltz, please! Do please don't, 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 don't! It was not supposed to be this way! My ruling is a plaintiff wait. And she gets the 12th beer. Oh man, I thought we had it there, but... Thank you. Thank but, you so much. Uh, Thank you. Okay, okay, I must say. Good job, you do good. Oh, I, uh, the, good case. I, I will see you next time. Okay, 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 okay I'll see you. I'll see you next beer call. Next time. Oh, what are you doing, John? No, John, 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 please, please. Oh, <laughs> That's all the time we have for today. Um, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you for joining us for episode four of WBC Presents The Beer Show. We'd like to give a large thank you to CEO and President of Paddockwood Brewery, Steve Cavan, for giving us a wonderful tour of their facility, for letting us sample some of the beers that they have there, and just for showing us some hospitality as we made our road trip up to Saskatoon. Remember, Paddockwood Saskatchewan's first microbrewery. Please support craft beer in Saskatchewan. Go out and try some Paddockwood beer. You will not be disappointed. You will enjoy it. Great craft. We'd beer. also like to give a shout out to our Pots and Pans house band, Lucas Cummins. Lucas. Lucas. <laughs> it's all right. And remember to follow us on Twitter and Facebook, Pinterest, and get on our website at worldbeercollection.com. And remember, all beer is good.